Hi guys, you may see me in this outfit more than once um, in the next coming videos because I'm going to try and do a few reviews or something um, kind of in one go because I have come home from my college trip to the zoo much earlier than I expected and I've got so much more of the day left so I thought why not whack out some reviews for you guys. So the first book I'm going to review for you is A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness. This is the graphic edition I guess you would call it because it's got like illustrations and stuff but... I don't know who the illustrations are by. They're absolutely awesome and they complement the story perfectly. Now a little bit of information like background behind this story. It was actually, well the idea was kind of put together by a woman called Siobhan Dowd. I think that's how you pronounce it. Who sadly passed away from cancer before she got the chance to actually write this. But I've heard she's got some other books out there um, that she managed to publish before she passed away. I think it's great that Patrick Ness actually like took up her workings, her early workings of this book and brought together such a beautiful, beautiful piece. It's a really awesome story and I just cannot express my love for it enough. So the book's basically about a boy, a young boy who's going through a lot at the moment through his life. Um, he's finding it difficult to cope at school but it's kind of like a routine and that's what's keeping him sane if you think about it. I don't, I don't want to tell you too much about the actual story because I think it's better to go in without knowing too much. And that's how I went in not, not knowing a lot and I think I came out with a better outlook of it for that reason. Now as you can see from the front it's going to be a dark gothic -y kind of illustration and as I said a few times it's perfect, it works absolutely perfect for this book. The authors and the illustrator has brought in such emotion through the words and the images that that has been used that I've never known such a, a dark sad story to have so, such witty humour at the same time that's acceptable. It combines fantasy and like a really strict harsh rela reality perfectly and I don't I've never heard of a book to do that and you know do it right so I, I think it's an absolutely awesome book it really gives me a lot to think about and I think it'll be the same for you guys as well if you read it a lot of like self-reflection came afterwards it's just a story that I think will stay with you forever I actually came across this when I was doing my first year of GCSE art and it was this graphic version just kind of at the back of the classroom and I saw that and I was like hmm I'll take a picture of that because I usually take pictures of books that I want to read instead of typing it down because it takes too much longer anyway um and like three four years later I finally managed to read it and you know what I'm, I'm glad about that. I wish I read it earlier, but I kind of feel like I'm emotionally ready. I'm at the age where I'm emotionally ready to actually understand this now. I don't think I would have appreciated it as much a few years before. I don't know what else to say other than the fact that it completely blew my mind away. It's just the writing coming from like a, a young boy's point of view and how dark and deep the, the story is behind it. It just kind of it got to me in a way that I don't think any other book has before and like I said earlier it will definitely stay with me for a very long time um it's just it's a beautiful 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 tale and I can't say any more than that otherwise I'll just be rambling which I'm probably doing now so I'll lay this to rest you can read my proper full review on Goodreads I'll link it down below if you want more information a little bit more but other than that, please check this book out and specifically the illustrated version because it was awesome and the images just made it that much more perfect. So I will speak to you in the next video, which will most likely be a review. Until then, farewell.